Hi everyone, my name is Sherry Hensley and I'm a realtor living and working on Galveston Bay. Today, I'm going to give you a full tour of what it's like to live in Bayou Vista, Texas, located in Galveston County on the Texas Gulf Coast. We call Life Behind the Oleanders. About five years ago, I purchased a weekend home in Bayou Vista to get away from the hustle, bustle, traffic, and stress of living in the fourth largest city in the nation, Houston, Texas. Not long after closing on our canal home, we decided to sell our bungalow in Houston and live in paradise full time. I feel like I'm on vacation every single day. Life's at a much slower pace here. There's a gentle bay breeze, wildlife all around, and the water. I love watching the tides come in and out of my canal. I love watching the fish and birds response to the tides. I love watching the storms roll in and out year round. I love the sunrises and those sunsets. I love canal cruising. I really love Bayou Vista. It's my paradise. People call and they want a vacation home in Bayou Vista or they want to relocate or retire on Galveston Bay so they too can live the dream of life on the water. They want to get away from the stress of the big city. They want to get away from the traffic. This was the best decision we made to buy a home. and Now is a great time to buy. And let me tell you why. Bayou Vista is a small city, population 1,750, conveniently located off I-45 and Highway 6, we exit 7 to Paradise. We're just 42 miles south of downtown Houston. Hobby Airport is conveniently located in South Houston, so access is just minutes off 45. Bayou Vista is nestled near the John M. O'Quinn Nature Preserve, encompassing 1,000 acres of salt marsh. These protected wetlands go around Jones Lake onto I-45. Bayou Vista is a single-family waterfront community development along 12 dredge canals with easy access to Galveston Bay, Highland Bayou, Jones Lake, and the Intercoastal Canal. If you want to know what it's like to live, work, and play in Bayou Vista, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know in this video. If you like the video, make sure you hit the subscribe and click the little bell. You'll be notified every week about new videos about living on Galveston Bay. I'll tour neighborhoods and I'll show you fun things to see and do all along Galveston Bay. Let me tell you why Galveston Bay and Bayou Vista is the best place to live, work, and play. Bayou Vista sits just minutes over the causeway from Galveston Island. There you'll find 25 miles of beaches. We enjoy taking our pups for a stroll on the beaches and also watching the sunset. Galveston Island is also a saltwater fishing destination. You'll see folks fishing on piers, in their boats, on the bay, offshore, or on kayaks. They come to Galveston for sailing, horseback riding, or just a lazy, sun-filled day of relaxing. Galveston is also rich in history and architecture. There's entertainment for all ages, medical services at UTMB, dining casual to upscale, and oh, the shopping. The cruise ship set sail to the Caribbean this past 4th of July weekend after a 16-month hiatus. Construction of two new ports is in the works to add more ships sailing out of the port of Galveston. There really is something for everyone in Galveston. You can rent chairs and umbrellas and put your toes in the sand. You can rent bicycles, pedal carts, golf carts, slingshots, or trek the city on rubber wheeled red trolleys. You can take a Segway tour of downtown Galveston. Moody Gardens is a huge entertainment complex. Schlitterbahn is a fantastic water park designed for children and adults alike. If you're like me, you're going to want to tour historic Galveston. Don't want to miss the Bishop's Palace, my personal favorite, designed by architect Nicholas Clayton. You'll also want to see the Moody Mansion, Ashton Villa, the Bryan Museum. The Bryan Museum is the former home of the Galveston Orphans Home, and they're all fine historical properties, well worth a look-see. You don't want to miss the architecture downtown on the Strand. The Grand 1894 Opera House and Railroad Museum are two of my favorites. We also have beautiful homes to see on the East End and the Silk Stocking District and Broadway. Back to my paradise, a little Bayou Vista history. The Saconis family started the development back in the 50s after Mrs. Saconis inherited some of what is now known as original Bayou Vista after the death of an elderly friend. They had become very close. The woman had no heirs and she left the land to Mrs. Saconis. The Saconis family acquired additional land around the area at a good price. The family had a dream, a dream of life on the water, 
a canal life, a close-knit fishing and boating community. The family, including Ed, the teenage son, and his young friends, painstakingly dredged each canal. The Sakonis family advertised and built out New Bayou Vista and Omega Bay up into the 70s. The original designs of these homes on stilts with boating right out your front door had a very distinctive pagoda-like flair on the roof design. Final siding and composition roofs were most common on the homes on stilts. You'll now see composition, hardy plank, and vinyl are most common today. The homes have grown to two and three story and the square footages have increased. Some homes have double, triple, or more lots with expansive gardens or pool. You can still recognize the original Sakonis pagoda style throughout Bayou Vista. The original homes certainly weren't large by today's standards, with the smallest plans offering just two bedroom, one bath. These homes were designed with living outdoors and on the water in mind. Fishing, crabbing, and swimming at your front door was a big hit for buyers then, and it still is today. Boat houses allow fishermen to head straight out to fish without having to launch, load, or a place to store your boat or clean your bounty. Mr. Sakonis' son, Ed, gave a historical presentation at a recent garden club meeting. He presented memorabilia, including advertisements from magazines, advertising the lifestyle that the Sakonis family wanted to create on the water. He also brought some photos and tools he and his friends used to work those many summers ago. Ed fondly reminisced about the backbreaking task of dredging out the canals. The development, construction, and sales were certainly highlights of his summers as a young man. Ed's parents had an aqua car they cruised about in the canals and on the streets of Bayou Vista. This must have been great for advertising. Take a client out to a new canal home, cruise down the canal on the boat, car. The aqua car, what a great idea. We don't have an HOA in Bayou Vista, but we do have city ordinances. The city ordinances and other helpful information can be found along with Ed's historical presentation and photos at the city website www.bayouvista.us. Homes vary in size with many of the new construction property square footages heading upwards to 3,000 square feet. I hit Galveston pretty hard in 2008 and Bayou Vista was no exception as it was inundated with over six feet of water. The new construction homes are now being built much higher than the original homes starting upwards of 14 feet. The heights and square footages of the homes here have grown since the 50s, but the heart and soul that the Sakonis family intended for this community has certainly exceeded their expectations. The camaraderie here is like none I've ever found. It feels like I have family living around me year round. We support each other as a community. We check on each other. We celebrate each other. We come together in good times and bad. There are a mixture of single family homes on stilts with your front door facing the canal. A few lots are left, a few homes are under construction, but most folks are buying the current homes and renovating and expanding to their liking. We spend a lot of time outside and our outdoor spaces are an extension of our home. TVs, refrigerators, outdoor dining and living spaces, some with full outdoor kitchens and baths. Now let's talk about insurance. If you live on the coast, on the water, whether it's on the beach or the bay, you're gonna have higher insurance rates because you'll need windstorm and flood insurance. Because we're near sea level, your lender will require windstorm and flood if you're in a flood zone or if you're in a coastal area. Even if you pay cash, I highly recommend obtaining windstorm and flood. We do encounter wicked weather, winds, flooding, and the rare snowfall. Talk to your insurance professional to guide you through obtaining the best coverage for your dream home. Bayou Vista is really one of the most welcoming places you'll ever find. I've never lived anywhere quite like Bayou Vista. We are a golf cart resort neighborhood. It's much easier to get around in the golf cart. You can park three times as many golf carts in your driveway for cocktails or dinner with neighbors, a birthday party, or a crawfish boil. We go to dinner, run to the store, get a massage, hair and nails done, pick up a bottle of our favorite spirit, a specialty cake, all without leaving paradise. We have quite a few veterans who live in Bayou Vista and we show our appreciation to veterans year round. My better half is a proud Air Force veteran. Bayou Vista Warrior Weekend puts out flags for Memorial Day, 4th of July, and Veterans Day along Neptune, where our wall of oleanders is planted. This nonprofit plans weekends for some of our wounded warriors. The adventure-filled weekends start with accommodations at Moody Gardens, fishing, dining, and fun with fellowship on the water. 
We have parades for Memorial Day, Veterans Day, and the Christmas season. Memorial Day weekend is a festival now named the Joe Mims Summer Festival. Joe Mims was a local legend in Galveston County. He was an avid Houston Ship Channel surfer. You gotta check him out on YouTube. It's really pretty cool. He was the founder of the Bayou Vista Warrior Weekends, a former and well-loved Bayou Vista mayor, the founder of the Fishing Club, and our Memorial Day weekend festival passed away in 2020. The festival was named in his honor in 2021. Mims Vision kicks off with a fishing tournament for adults and children alike that runs all weekend. We have a patriotic golf cart parade, a barbecue cook-off with judging, for seafood, brisket, sausage, chicken, and ribs. It's always a great competition among neighbors and friendly rivalry ends with judging an award ceremony, live music, and some great barbecue. The fellowship ends with a golf tournament at Moody Gardens, a destination in itself, boasting a plush course and beautiful vistas of Offutt's Bayou. Christmas is celebrated Bayou Vista style as Santa kicks off the season with a tree lighting and mini concert at our mud exercise park. We also have a Christmas golf cart parade when residents step it up yet again in hopes of winning the prize for top cart, car, and dog. The competitors take these parades seriously and it really shows. There's also an annual Christmas boat parade. It just gets bigger and better every year. It's always great to see the creativity. The organizers do a fantastic job of recruiting prizes, donations, and participants. The boats pre-register in anticipation of taking home first place. They plan for months and decorate their boats with festive lights and decorations. They line up at a designated location and come down each canal. Now this takes several hours and you can see parties on decks, lawns, and piers. Onlookers come to the canal's edge to get a closer look as a festive, tropically clad, lit boats take on Christmas in Bayou Vista. They're all lit up with holiday spirit, trees, Santas, and elves displaying seasonal cheer and holiday spirit. Now Christmas really reinforces our community spirit every single day. There are garden club judges placed on each canal who text their favorites to organizers for top three and a tiny Tim award. The enthusiastic competitors throw candy, jello shots, beads, and ramen noodles at parade onlookers. It kicks off the season and is a fun-filled evening for all. There's generally an after party at one home where participants receive awards and prizes and all are invited to enjoy in the revelry with celebratory food and drink. We enjoy fireworks from Moody Gardens to the south and just to the north, a neighbor in original Bayou Vista puts on a fantastic show every year as does Louis Bait Camp. Our fireworks can be seen in neighboring cities every year. It's definitely worth experiencing from your boat, golf cart, or deck. Bayou Vista has a community pool that's open from Tuesday through Sunday, Memorial Day to Labor Day. Pool passes are available at the city or at the pool for a daily nominal fee. We have a pavilion area, a playground area for the little ones, and an exercise park. We have a fishing club, a garden club, a book club, bunco groups, happy hour groups, wine groups, and a Friday dinner group. If you choose, Bayou Vista can be very active. Prices range from the low 300,000s to the low 600,000s. Our ad valorem tax rate is 2.74%. Our local sales tax rate is 6.25%. Bayou Vista has its own police department and volunteer fire department. We have one building to house our city hall, fire department, police department, and mud district. Bayou Vista is about nine minutes from the University of Texas Medical Center in Galveston. Texas City is a quick six minute drive to the Northeast. There are two locally owned brick and mortar restaurants in Bayou Vista. The first one is the Bayou Bistro and it serves some of the best chicken fried steak around. I also like the char broiled burgers, spaghetti and meatballs, the chicken pot pie and pizzas. They're all tasty. They have a really bustling bar business too. It's like cheers, everyone knows your name. The waitresses will know your drink order and food order if you come in more than twice. Our second brick and mortar restaurant is the Baja Cantina. The Cantina offers a lively bar with a full restaurant and Tex-Mex food. The friendly service and daily food and drink specials bring us back weekly. I love the street tacos and chili con queso. My better half loves the chicken tortilla soup and the black bean dip. I gotta tell you, shh, just between us, you gotta ask for that bean dip. They don't always bring it out with the chips and sauce. Ooh, speaking of which, the chips and sauce, that salsa has the perfect amount of heat and I love their homemade chips. A little but well-known turquoise hidden gem 
located behind our strip center, is Smoke and Z's Barbecue. This is the beginnings of a food truck park. This local mom and pop have really wowed barbecue lovers with their own extraordinary take on a Texas staple. They're open only on Saturdays and Sundays, 11 a.m. until sold out for the best brisket, ribs, sausage, and pulled pork. Lord, their sides and dessert are delish, but let me tell you, they sell out and you may experience a bit of a wait, but it's so worth it. Smoke and Z's just started opening at 9.30 on Saturday and Sundays for breakfast treats. You've got to try the blueberry cake donut. And if you want something more savory, that brisket kolache. I love their pulled pork tacos. They're made with duck fat tortillas, a homemade verde sauce, a white crumbly Mexican cheese, and pico de gallo. Two to an order, and it is perfect for lunch. Oh goodness, I can taste that taco right now. Their brisket is perfection too. It's served with pickled red onions, green pickles, and a slice of bread. That onion is so good, it never makes it to the bread. You're gonna wanna give them a try. Tell them Sherry sent you. Just north of Bayou Vista is another local staple for food, drink, bait, ice, and launching. That's Louie's Bait Camp. You can get there by boat or car. Locals enjoy their burgers and brews, and it's a great place to get live bait, ice, or launch. Please like and subscribe and hit the little bell to be notified each week and I'll give you tips on buying and selling real estate. I'll tour neighborhoods and I'll show you fun things to see and do all along Galveston Bay. You'll see what it's like to live, work and play on Galveston Bay. We have one boat repair shop in Bayou Vista, Dockside Marine. We have two convenience stores. Easy Mart will be located on your left hand side at the entrance. They're expanding to a full-fledged grocery store, and boy, do they know their demographic. They have a well-plenished stock of our favorite Bluebell ice cream flavors, which my household appreciates on these hot, humid days. Easy Mart also offers a grill for hamburgers, barbecue, and breakfast called Dockside Smokehouse and Grill. The other convenience store is to your right as you enter and offers gas at about 10 cents or more higher than I prefer to pay for gas, but in a pinch, it's good to have. Next to the convenience center on the right is our strip center. We have an outdoor store for kayaks. We have a liquor store, a sweet shop, a nail salon, a hair salon, Thai massage, and Baja Cantina at the far end of the center finishes out that strip center facing Highway 6. We also have Faith Community Church in Bayou Vista. The church offers wheelchair access, adult Bible study, and worship. Pastor Folk and the leadership are welcoming, and the dress code is casual, so come as you are. Some schools serving Bayou Vista include Lamarck Elementary, Lamarck Middle, Lamarck Elementary Math and Science, Lamarck Intermediate Technology Academy, and Lamarck High School. Feel free to visit Texas City ISD at www.tcisd.org. Okay, let's talk about fishing. You can fish off your pier or take your boat out in the bay. The Intercoastal Canal is a short boat ride from Bayou Vista, and from there you can go anywhere from Padre Island to Florida. Bay fishing is best for trout, redfish, and flounder. It's also really easy to catch crabs off your pier. We have steamed crabs about once a week, and they're great in so many recipes. We love seafood gumbo, or we pick and freeze for later. There are fishing guides in the neighborhood, and they charge between four and $500 a day for bay fishing, if you want to go offshore, you need to get a guide out of Galveston. You'll want to get a bigger boat with several motors and the expertise to get your big fish. Bayou Vista has railroad tracks running along the west side of our neighborhood. If your boat is taller than six feet, you're not going to be able to get under the bend up bridge at high tide. People have gone out fishing in low tide. They come back in at high tide. They can't get back under bend up bridge to get into Bayou Vista. They had to anchor the boat in the bay and call someone to come get them. Always, always, always have a charged phone with you with the neighbor's phone number that has a boat. You're going to need it eventually. We all do. People live in Bayou Vista because they love the relaxed and casual lifestyle on the water, whether it's fishing, boating, swimming, kayaking, gardening, golfing, shopping, or dining. It really is like being on vacation every day. Finally, I love the wildlife here. You'll find great blue herons, little blue herons, roseate spoonbills, green herons, egrets, cormorants, 
mallards, muscovies, pelican, green monk parrot, and the ever-present variety of seagulls. Crackles and pigeons are pests, and we work diligently to keep them off our boathouses. We do have a resident otter, and he feasts on crabs in the canals. Recently, after a storm, a small alligator made its way from the marsh into the canals, and it created quite a ruckus with the swimmers and some homeowners. We do battle mosquitoes, and there are a couple of options with misting systems and foggers. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my tour of Life Behind the Oleanders, living in Bayou Vista, Texas. I know you like the video because you're still here. I want to give you my free Galveston Bay relocation guide. Please click the link in the description below and it'll take you to my website. There, you can download my free Galveston Bay relocation guide and get real-time property listings along with tips, tricks, and helpful information about everything real estate. If you like the video, please hit the subscribe button and click the little bell and you'll be notified every week about my new videos on what it's like to live, work, and play on Galveston Bay. Till next time.